Hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I have a, an idea here with these crosses. I was been given these in my uh, goodie box that I was gifted last week, and um, have lots of them. So they come with like a little hook on the back, and I just take the hook off, you know, and and then I went ahead and covered it with some tape and sprayed it with some paint and primer, satin paint and primer. But what's really neat is they have the edges. So I thought the first thing I thought when I seen them was fill them with resin. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, there was a few gaps on a couple of them. These seem to be just fine though, this one. But um, what I did was I took my hot glue gun and kind of went in there just to seal up those kind of just tried to get it to squirt in, you know, to seal up the cracks so that the resin don't come out. But I thought they're perfect for that. And um, I did one already uh, yesterday, but I used gold, black, and teal, and it was real pretty at first. And, um, but it started to move inward and then it looked funny, okay? So the next time I won't do it that design, I'll do it a different design. But so I decided, well, what am I gonna do with this? So I went ahead and quickly got some of these, you know, um, shell things I got from Walmart, Walmart a long time ago and just threw them in there and pushed them down. And so there we go. So I'm planning on pouring some resin over that. I think it's pretty though. So I finally got to use these but there, the ideas are endless with these. I'm thinking I have some beautiful stones, some rose quartz, and oh, the, even those tiger's eyes ones, and uh, you know, paint these whatever color matching the stones and fill them with that too. Then also, you could always, you know, paint them the color you want and then put some Mod Podge or glue and sprinkle some glitter. You know, it's just, the ideas are endless. So, yeah, or you just pour on them with acrylic pouring, which I'm gonna plan on doing too. So anyway, we'll get started. All I'm using today is black and white, and I'm using the casting craft. I'm gonna fill it with white, heat gun it to pop the bubbles, and then I'm just gonna drizzle some good, straight, opaque black you know, in there and swirl it around and that's it. So I just thought that would be pretty. And I'm using the um, premium quality clear epoxy resin from the epoxy resin store. And I do have a link in my description for that with a coupon code, if you're ever interested. Um, and pretty much this is an easy breezy one and I think it's going to be pretty. So here we go. Hope you enjoy the video.
Okay, let's take a look. I think it's so pretty. It's really neat how that cast and craft white kind of gave it a little bit of cells in there. It always does. But that is so neat, the metal too. Isn't that something? It's so pretty. I love it. So, I'm just, uh, I don't think I'll have to put another coat on here. I, I like it just the way it is. I'll just take the tape off and there it is. <laughs> that one's cool. Okay, and then this one here, I just put some resin on. So that one's still a little sticky. But it looks pretty. It drew out the pretty shells. I'm sure there's shells. There's shells all broken up with, and they colored them, you know? So it's pretty neat. <laughs> I like it. So there we go. This one over there, I just don't want to get resin on it. Okay. There we go. Well, I think it's really pretty. I love it. So thank you for watching, and I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, okay? Bye-bye now.